Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the introduction of hyperbola. Standard form of the equation of hyperbola. So, kapag yung standard equation, standard equation natin ay x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. At yung nauna dito is x squared over a squared. Ibig sabihin, yung transverse axis natin ay horizontal. At ito ay matatagpuan natin o yung center natin ay matatagpuan natin sa origin. And then kapag yung equation natin, y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1, yung transverse axis natin ay vertical. And ganun pa din, yung center natin ay nasa origin. So madali lang tandaan class, kapag yung x squared over a squared yung nasa unahan ng equation natin, yun ay horizontal, yung transverse axis natin. And then kapag yung nasa unahan ng equation natin ay y squared over a squared, vertical naman yung transverse axis natin. And then kapag yung equation natin, the quantity of x minus h squared over a squared minus the quantity of y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1, yung transverse axis natin is horizontal. So, tatandaan natin kapag x minus h squared over a squared yung nasa unahan ng equation natin, horizontal yung transverse axis natin. And then, yung center ng hyperbola natin ay hindi natin makikita sa origin. So, makukuha natin yung center, that's the value of h, tapos ito yung value ng k. So, yung h natin dito, yung x-coordinate, at yung k natin is y coordinate. So ibig sabihin, matatagpuan natin uh, alin kahit sa ang parte ng Cartesian plane natin, no? Kapag plinat natin itong uh, center natin. And then kapag yung equation natin y minus k squared over a squared minus the quantity of x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, ang nauna natin dito is y minus k squared over a squared vertical yung transverse axis natin. So, same na ang center natin ay hindi na natin makik uh, hindi na sa origin. So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung maging value ng h natin and k. So, doon natin makikita yung center ng hyperbola natin. A hyperbola like an ellipse is determined by a constant and two fixed point. It's called a focus point. So, dito sa hyperbola, kung saan natin matatagpuan o kung saan yung transverse axis natin, nandun yung focus natin. However, instead of the sum of the two distances being a constant, as with an ellipse, in the case of hyperbola, the difference between two dis uh, distances is constant. More specifically, the hyperbola determined by a pair of foci and a uh, given constant is the set of points x, y in the plane such that the absolute value of the difference between the distances from x, y to the foci is equal to the constant. Parts of a hyperbola. So, the parabola has two branches. The two branches can open either right or left or up and down. So, kapag yung hyperbola natin mag-open ng left and right, ibig sabihin yung transverse axis natin dyan na sa horizontal. Ibig sabihin horizontal yung transverse axis natin. So, dito natin makikita rin yung focus natin and then yung vertex ng parabola natin. Depending on whether the foci are the horizontal or vertical axis. So, each branch of the hyperbola has a vertex. And the center of the hyperbola is the midpoint of the line segment joining the vertices. So, titignan natin yung graph natin. So, yung point o nasa gitna ng dalawang vertex natin. So, pag inuhita natin ng line dyan. So, yung gitna ng dalawang vertices natin, yan yung center ng hyperbola. And then, yung focus natin, matatagpuan natin kung saan nag-open yung hyperbola natin. And then, 
uh, susundan lang natin itong coordinates natin kapag kukunin natin yung vertex natin kapag horizontal yung transverse axis natin. For example, uh, ang equation natin, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, ano ba yung orientation ng hyperbola natin? So, nabanggit ko kanina na kapag yung x squared over a squared yung nauna, yung transverse axis natin dyan ay horizontal. So, kapag horizontal yung transverse axis natin, ibig sabihin, yung opening ng hyperbola natin ay nasa left and right. And then, kapag kukunin natin, of course, ano yung mga ibang parts ng hyperbola, ang center natin dyan ay makikita natin sa origin. Again, so ito yung transverse axis natin. And then, matatagpuan natin yung center natin sa origin. So, 0, 0 yung coordinates natin. And of course, yung vertex, makukuha natin yung vertex. Saan matatagpuan yung transverse axis, doon din natin makikita yung vertex natin. So, kapag yung equation x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1, makukuha natin yung vertex 1 natin. Uh, gamit ito, yung coordinates nito, negative a over a, and then yung vertex 2 natin, a comma 0. So, saan natin makukuha yan? Okay, so, dito. So, again, kung saan yung transverse axis natin, doon din natin makikita o matatagpuan yung vertices natin. And, meron tayong tinatawag na covertex. So, paano natin kukunin yung covertex? So, yung B sub 1 natin, that is 0, B, kung ano man yung value ng B na makukuha natin. And then, yung B sub 2, or yung covertex number 2 natin, 0, negative B. So, nandito sa taas, okay, and then nandito sa baba. And then, para makuha natin yung focus natin, okay, alam natin na yung focus ay isosolve natin gamit yung formula ng Pythagorean Theorem. C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, ito yung gagamitin natin formula para makuha natin yung focus natin. So, again, so kung kanina nabanggit natin na meron tayong A, B, so yung A, kapag nakuha natin yung value ng A, ito yun, nandito yan, pag nakuha natin yung value ng B, uh, A rather, yun yung distance no, mula sa center papuntang vertex. And then, yung B naman, yun yung distance mula sa center papunta sa co-vertex natin. So again, pag kukunin natin yung C, ibig sabihin kinukuha natin uh, para makuha natin kung saan natin makikita yung focus natin. So yung C ay distance yan mula sa uh, center natin papunta sa focus natin. So, may tinatawag tayong conjugate axis. So, yung conjugate axis natin ay uh, perpendicular siya dun sa horizontal axis natin. Kung saan yung covertex natin, nandun yung conjugate axis natin. So, itong line segment mula dun sa center papunta dun sa covertex natin, tinatawag natin yung conjugate axis. And then, yung foci, okay, pastens yan ng focus, so, paano natin makukuha yung foci? Since na by getting the value of C, makukuha natin yung focus natin. At saan natin makikita yung focus? Kung saan nag-open yung hyperbola natin. So, ibig sabihin nandito siya sa loob. Isa dito, saka isa din doon. So, para makuha natin yung focus 1, so, susundan lang natin to This is negative C. Kung ano man makukuha natin value na C, 0. At yung pangalawa, focus to C. So, ibig sabihin positive yan. And then, 0. So, dito natin makuha, makikita. Again, makikita natin yung focus natin. Kung saan nag-open yung hyperbola natin. Okay, nandito yung isang focus natin. Okay, ulitin ko lang. Kapag yung equation natin, ang nauna ay x squared over a squared 
ang transverse axis natin ay horizontal. So, kapag kung saan yung transverse axis natin, doon natin makikita yung vertices natin o yung vertex natin and then yung focus natin. Sa conjugate axis naman, doon natin matutupuan yung co-vertex natin. Okay, next. So, yung lattice rectum, so ito ay kinukuha rin natin para madali mag-plot, no? Madali mag-plot tayo ng hyperbola. So, gamitin natin yung formula na B squared over A. So, kapag uh, nag-open yung hyperbola natin ng left and right, yung lattice rectum natin ay towards Y axis. So, kung nandito yung focus, so kung ano yung makuha natin na lattice rectum, uh, kukunin natin yung distance mula dito papunta doon. Okay? So, towards Y axis tayo, up and down. So, ganun din dito sa kabila. Okay, so ganyan natin kukunin yung lattice rectum. Same dito sa uh, kabilang side ng ano natin, Cartesian plane. The distance between the uh, the distance from the center to vertex, yan yung value ng A. Di ba? Kukunin natin yung value ng A. So, yan yun. And then yung distance from the center to the focus, yan naman yung value ng C. And then yung distance mula sa center papunta sa co-vertex natin, yun naman yung value ng B. So, gamit itong equation na to, makukuha natin yung value ng A, yung value ng B, at yung value ng C. And of course, yung lattice rectum natin. And then kapag y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1 ang maging equation natin, at makikita natin dito, yung nauna sa equation natin ay y squared over a squared. Ibig sabihin, yung, para, ah, yung hyperbola natin, mag-open siya ng up and down. So, yun ang pinagkaiba kanina, ang equation natin nauna yung x squared over a squared. Kaya siya, nag, yung pa-hyperbola natin, nag-open siya left and right. Pero kapag nauna yung y squared over a squared, ibig sabihin, yung hyperbola natin, mag-open siya ng up and down. So, ibig sabihin yung transverse axis natin dito, vertical. Okay? So, vertical naman yung transverse axis natin. And then, so dito natin makikita yung vertices natin. And then, yung focus natin. So, yung vertex natin, sundan lang natin para makuha natin yung coordinate ng vertex 1 natin. 0, A, And then, yung vertex 2 natin, that is 0 and negative A. Para makuha naman yung co-vertex natin, that is negative do. So, yung B sub 1 natin, para start tayo sa left side. So, negative B, 0. And then, yung B sub 2 natin, B, 0. So, para makuha yung focus natin, gamitin din ulit natin itong uh, formula natin para makuha yan. So, para kunin yung focus number 1, that is 0C. And then, yung focus number 2 naman, uh, 0 negative C. Same with the lattice rectum using the formula B squared over A. So, tatandaan natin class, uh, yung A natin dito ay pwedeng mas malaki sa B or mas mababa sa B. Kaya yung conjugate axis natin may be shorter or longer the transverse axis. So, Maaring yung makukuha natin conjugate axis ay mas mahaba doon sa transverse axis natin. Or yung transverse axis natin mas mahaba doon sa conjugate axis natin. Kasi dito, maaring yung A natin mas mataas sa B natin or yung A natin mas mababa sa B. So meron tayong tinatawag the fundamental rectangle of the hyperbola that is the graph of x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, para saan ba ito? So, kinoconnect natin yung points ng vertices natin at ng co-vertex naglalagay tayo ng rectangle. Halimbawa, so ito yung vertex natin, vertex 1, vertex 2, ito yung co-vertex natin at co-vertex number 2. So, kinoconnect natin, so nagkakaroon tayo ng rectangle. Ngayon, para saan yan? Dito sa hyperbola class, meron tayong tinatawag na asymptotes. So, the asymptotes of this hyperbola contain the diagonals of the rectangle and half equation. So, 
pwede gamit yung equation na to. y is equal to b over ax and y is equal to negative b over ax. So, kapag ito yung equation, yung may negative yung sign, pag ganito yan. Okay? And yung diagonal natin, ito naman, positive. So, dito yan. So, ibig sabihin, class, kung bakit tayo nag, uh, gagawa ng rectangle para makuha natin yung asymptotes natin. So, i-coconnect lang natin itong dulo na to saka yung dulo dito. And then, yung dulo dito saka dulo din dito. So, ibig sabihin yung line na to, yan yung asymptotes natin. So, pag sinabi natin asymptotes, yung hyperbola natin dyan, uh, papalapit lang dito, pero hindi siya magtatouch. So, para pag nag-grab kayo, no, no, pag nag-grab kayo ng hyperbola, nyo, ng hyperbola, so alam nyo na hindi pwede mag-touch yung hyperbola natin dito. So, papalapit lang siya sa line na yan. Okay, so again, ang tawag natin dyan is yung asymptotes natin. Okay, makikita natin na yung parabola natin, ay hyperbola rather, no, yung hyperbola natin ay dapat hindi mag-touch dito sa uh, line na to. Okay, ang tawag ulit natin dyan is asymptotes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.